हेलो स्टूडेंट्स हाउ यू ऑल एंड वेलकम टू द फैंटास्टिक फैबुलस एंड फैंटेबुलस सेशन बाय वेदांतु नाइन्थ एंड इंग्लिश दिस इज प्रितेश योर होस्ट योर दोस्त एंड अ प्राउड मास्टर टीचर फ्रॉम वेदांतु वेलकमिंग यू टू द टॉप टिप्स टू स्कोर हंड्रेड एंड हंड्रेड इन योर साइंस एग्जाम there are only very few number days left for your science exam which is on the 10th of may and today i'll be giving you some last minute tips and tricks so that you don't lose that half mark that one mark and get 100 on 100 in your science exam now remember i have already told this in many of my sessions but i'm again repeating <coughs> a very good weightage a very good weightage of your marks depends on your paper presentation so make sure that you keep your paper absolutely clean and neat no much of scribbling no much of you know making a khichdi for on the paper no keep your paper neat clean suppose it happens that you know many times you miss out a an answer and then you write it on the other paper like question 4 answer 3 where whereas you are actually doing question number 8 so make sure that you give proper instructions to the examiner the cleaner and the neater your paper is the more you'll be able to score with that let us see some pro tips the last minute tips that will really help you to get 100 and 100 in your science exam so first and foremost compete with yourself don't think that uh you know ramesh in my class is getting 98 so I, my target is to overcome ramesh or sunita in my class is getting 97 so my target is to overcome sunita no your target is not ramesh your target is not sunita your target is yourself always try to make your best better good better best never let it rest till your good becomes better and your better best right so always try to make yourself better and better always compete with yourself whatever is your maximum try to overcome that maximum and do better that is when you will be landing or you will be in a position to celebrate and to be proud of yourself so always compete with yourself always give yourself a target with that we come to the next concept or the next tip that is diagnose yourself solve previous year's papers i also discussed a previous year paper with you guys so solve previous year papers and see where you're going wrong are you going wrong in underlining the terms are you going wrong in definitions are you losing marks in diagrams are you losing marks in objectives are you losing marks in not mentioning the important words in the answer which the examiner expects so diagnose yourself where you are going wrong because only then you will be able to you know and understand and you will not repeat those mistakes so diagnose yourself you are your best critic you are your best critic and again and again i know i'm repeating it but i'm giving more and more emphasis because this is my own tried and tested method give more emphasis on paper presentation paper presentation is a very 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 important part of your scoring marks also guys remember that if the question is very long suppose the question in your exam is very very long make sure that you underline the second and the third part of the question because what happens is in a hurry in that over confidence oh i know this oh i know this oh i know this oh i know this you tend to not read the second and the third part of the question and you might miss it while you are answering so suppose there is a question like define pollution define pollution full stop what are the four types or what are the three types of pollution question mark list three ways in which you will or you can prevent pollution this question has three parts in a hurry or in that over confidence that you know the answer you will just read define pollution you will write the definition of pollution you know the second and the third part but you missed it so you lost those three marks right so make sure that when you are reading your question paper when you get your question paper during the exam you underline the second and the third part so that when you solve it your attention goes there that is very very important i have lost four marks in my own 10th standard science exam because of the same over confidence i could not i did not read a question there was a four mark question i still remember it because you know it's a big uh, uh, loss for me i lost that four marks so the question was write the working of the electric bell so I I have studied. I have done my 10th standard from Maharashtra board. So we had electric bell in 10th standard. I'm talking about 2010, 12 years from now. So there was a question: write the working of the electric bell. 
and I did not see that. I mean, I scored very well in science, even overall I scored well, but I would have scored, you know, a percent, a percent more if I would have answered that question, but I missed it. Why? Overconfidence. I know it. I know it. I know it. I'm very well prepared. And that's why I missed out on a question. And after coming back home, I'm like, oh God, there was this question. I did not even see it in the exam. So that is why be very, very careful when you're reading your question paper. With that... पापा का वॉल्यूम उतना ही बढ़ जाता है ये होती है पढ़ाई पर कभी सोचा है कि मार्क्स बढ़ाने की जिम्मेदारी सिर्फ बच्चों की क्यों अब वेदांत तो मार्क्स बढ़ाने की जिम्मेदारी लेगा वरना आपकी पूरी फीस वापस with that we come to the next one that is improvise the weak topics we are very good with our strong topics you know reproduction very good nervous system very good nutrition very good excretion very good what about mendel's inheritance not very good so focus on the weak topics and keep your strengths aside for a little time focus on the weak make your weak your strengths and then you can revise everything together so focus on your weak topics because that is what is something that will you know make you fearful when you're writing your exam it might you know suppose suppose uh, there is a topic say uh, electric current and you're not very good at it and that question is the very first question in the exam you get your question paper and the very first question is based on electric current and be like the paper is going to be difficult you create that thought and you have lost half of your confidence right there so that's why so that's why i'm telling you that focus focus on your strengths and um, focus on your weaknesses make your weaknesses your strength and then i think the journey is going to be pretty smooth for you my best 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 and the choices wishes with all of you study smartly study smartly don't do hard work do smart work and the success is going to be yours with that do not procrastinate this i'll do later electric current i'll do later light i'll do later you know a periodic table i'll do later no don't procrastinate whatever are your weaknesses do them right now because procrastination is the way to failure right so don't procrastinate don't keep anything for later we don't have time to keep anything for later so do it right here right now and with that previous year question so we are doing it already together you also keep on doing it start solving it look at the pattern the board has asked there will be one or two chapters from which look at the question numbers so you will understand the blueprint of the paper if you see previous year's papers you will understand that there are certain question numbers who always have the question from that same topic and if possible do a bit of research if you can get the blueprint of the paper so i remember when we were in <coughs> 10th standard <coughs> We had two mathematics, algebra and geometry. So our geometry teacher had given us the blueprint of the paper. So that is, uh, it's not like, it's not cheating or something. It is how the board paper is set and it is easily available. So if you can get the blueprint of the paper, that will be really very good. You'll understand that which question will come from which topic, right? So make sure that you get that and practice. Practice makes everyone perfect. And as I told you, paper presentation that's the key guys this is a secret tip you know many times if your paper is neat and clean there might be like 10 mistakes that you have made and the examiner has not noticed even one yes that's true yes that is true that many times it happens that you have uh, you know uh, you have made like 10 small small mistakes in the paper but your paper is so neat and clean it doesn't mean that you leave the paper blank right keep it neat and clean your paper is so neat and clean that the examiner has not noticed why because you have taken the examiner's entire attention to the cleanliness of the paper to the neatness to only the important points and you are sorted right so do that and also guys 10% of your marks depends on the night before your exam so make sure that you get a good night's sleep don't eat very heavy don't have a very heavy meal the night before and don't have a very very heavy breakfast as well have a light meal you can have some khichdi or pongal or you can have some you know bisi uh, bath or you can have some you know rasam rice or some kind of a, uh, you know a pulio gray or lemon rice you can have something very light not very heavy and in the breakfast also have something very light don't fill your stomach right remember your stomach is only this much your stomach is only this much you're not supposed to fill it the night before and the day of the exam so eat half of the stomach or three fourth you'll be alert you won't feel sleepy and you will really be able to give good uh, you know performance in the exam calm remain calm guys 10 standard boards is not the end of the world it is not the end of the world life is going to go beyond 10th boards also and life was there before 10 boards also so 10 boards is not something that will decide your uh, you know future i accept that it is a big milestone in your uh, <coughs> 
in your education. <coughs> Sorry, it's a big milestone in your education, but it is not your life. Right. So make sure that you are calm, you're composed, have confidence in yourself, have faith in yourself. You are really going to do amazing. Tell yourself I am going to be completely all right. The exam is going to be super amazing. Right. With that, guys, if you want to learn from me and all your amazing teachers at Vedantu, then now you can learn for only rupees 4,500, right? So you just put the coupon code PREPRO and you will just have to pay rupees 4,500. If you have any queries on how does this work, how I can learn for only rupees 4,500 for the entire year for all the subjects, then there is a WhatsApp number that is being flashed on the screen. You can just send your queries over there and they will be solved. Remember, 4,500 for the entire year. But if you're appearing for your JE or NEET, then you just pay rupees 13,500. Just pay rupees 13,500 for two years. For two years, 13,500 is the cost. So remember, keep learning, keep growing and keep evolving. With that, guys, I come to the end of the session. All the very best. Do best, make yourself, your family and us super proud. Do not forget to give this video a big fat thumbs up. Subscribe to Vedanta 9th English and remember hashtag each one get one. Thank you so much guys. God bless all of you. Take care. Lots of love. Bye bye. Exam se pehle ghar wale shuru ho jaate. Batao do pilo beta. Marks ke liye na tips har koi deta hai. Isliye Vedanta improvement promise. Ab Vedanta marks badhane ki zimmedari lega. Varna aapki puri fees wapas.